Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be some updates and, and some cleaning and water changes. And thank you so much for the last video. There were so many supports on the, on the video itself and some beautiful comments as well. And that's always good to hear and good to see, right? So let me show you what we're going to do. All right. These are my um, bluefin snakeheads, you know, aka Tanastiwari, uh, golden head snakeheads. You know, they have kind of different names as well. But uh, I just call them bluefin snakeheads because it's very easy. And as you can see from their fins, uh, they're kind of blue and the water is kind of dirty. So a bit of backstory about this uh, snakeheads. I bought them as a pair and when I put them together, they were fighting. So I had a partition in the middle, a divider. So they were staying separate. And, you know, in time to time, I let them be together and they used to fight. I have all the videos. <laughs> Most of my past videos are in Nepali. And so, yeah, they were fighting. And then uh, after a while, I, you know, uh, I would say maybe like a, after like three, four months. So, then they're not fighting anymore you know but they're not doing anything much either so most of the people um, the viewers they say my tank is very small for the snakes that i'm putting and yes i know uh, currently i don't have a space a bigger tank to put them so it will be in the future but at the meantime they're staying here and they're happy how do i know that because usually when fish big fish you know they when they don't like the tank or the water or any fish, I would say, they will try to jump out, right? So as you can see, they kind of open. And I have seen them jumping out from the tops before because that was small, even for just for one. That was during water change. I know why he's looking at me. Uh, he's hungry. <laughs> but I'm gonna change the water first because since they're moving around so much, I don't know, sometimes they play like a catching or something, you know? Just, chasing each other's tail and what they do is they like break all the roots from these floating plants and you know everything and as you can see there's a monster pile of you know all the roots and stuff so that needs to be clean and yeah i'll be right back
All right, I have taken most of the water out, you know, and then I have uh, aged water here. I love changing my waters with uh, aged water. Uh, basically, uh, what you do is, you know, uh, if you have a tap water, if you have any water and if you leave it for a day or two on a bucket, you know, uh, from the tap water, the, all the chlorines will be gone as well. You don't need to put any extra medicine, you know. What I'm doing over here for my water changes is those leaves are banana and guava leaves. And I leave it there and this water has been aging for like a couple of days now. Or more than that actually. And then uh, I just change my water with them. That's it. It's simple. It's safe. And uh, you know, most of the fishes, they like aged water. And most of the breeders that I know, they use aged water uh, to prevent from their fish dying or getting infected or you know, any kind of disease because it's really safe. Look at them, look at them. <laughs> They're making really mess, you know. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be messy again. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna fill this up and I'll be right back. That's the old water, by the way. <laughs> Right, the water has been changed, filter has been on, and already some of the gunk has been stuck. As you can see, it's clear, and one of them is already hiding in there. Nice. So yeah, I'm gonna leave them alone for now. They're looking good, they're looking happy. The water is tint this color because of the leaves, which I uh, use banana leaves and almond leaf. I mean, sorry, guava leaf. Uh, which does the same thing uh, as almond leaf, antibacterial properties and everything, all the good stuff. So yeah, I'm going to leave them alone for now. And we're going to move to this one over here. So what we have over here is uh, my raising guppies. These are all the females who I have chosen and kept them separately for future breeding projects because they have very nice colorations on them. And I think that one kind of looks like a male though. <laughs> All right, so yeah, um, the tank just need a water change and that's it. There's nothing much going on here. This is just the result tank for my female guppies at the moment. All right, let's change the water. Right, so as you guys all know by now that this uh, tank is all female guppies, uh, which I'm gonna, you know, have a future project on them if I wanna breed them. But there are also some females um, which I'm not gonna breed, uh, breed because like this one, the spine is all, uh, you know, like bent, which are not usually good to breed because then your hole 
uh, babies, they might have that deformity as well. So you want to check that out if you're breeding guppies, you know, if your females are like you know, crooked like that. There's one female in albino, as you, you can see, I will try to put a picture or a small video if I can about, of her, that her spine is like literally, you can see it's like bent, you know? So you don't want that uh, kind of females to be breeding with. <laughs> Just a small tip. Mm, I can't find her. So anyway, she's around and the tank is looking good. They are all doing good. They are getting bigger than before. As you can see, the red one over there. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's like kind of male, but I don't know. It looks so different. So anyway, let's get to the next tank. All right, the next tank that we're looking at is my Dumbo Ear Better. Oh, check him out. He's good. Oh, it's beautiful. So yeah, his tank is basically at the moment. This is my hospital tank, and uh, and slash I guess plant storage tank as well at the same time. So yeah, so he's staying in here for temporary. So he will be home in a new tank, but at the meantime, he's gonna stay here. So yeah, so just need a bit of uh, water changes because there is some snails here. That's uh, maybe they're hiding. So there are some snails and him. <laughs> so yeah, time to change a bit of water for them. Look at it, enjoying the waterfall there. Mm? <laughs> All right, the water has been changed. So fast, right? Too fast, too furious. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, he's looking happy now. The water has been changed. It looks clean. And, oh, what is this? He looks hungry. He's demanding food. All right, all right. Let me see what I can get for you. So what I have here is uh, dried blood worms. And I do feed him fresh food as well. Live food, I mean. So come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, that's too much, but all right. Go frenzy, bruh. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> All right, anyway, we're gonna leave him alone for now and whatever he can eat, I will just uh, put it Give it to the guppies, <laughs> they will love it. And I think these guys are hungry too. He's looking at me with his vicious eyes. So just a second. So I'm gonna see if we, usually when I do water changes, they don't eat, but let's see. Nope, this is what they do. Every time when I change the water. <laughs> so yeah, I always uh, give it like an hour or so once they settle down a bit and then I feed them. That's why it's like grumpy. Why did you change my water? I made it so swampy. Anyway, let's move on. Alright, these are my crown tail project, I guess. <laughs> the females are not crown tail, but the male is, right? So uh, this is my ongoing project at the moment. They gave they gave me three babies so far. Only three. <laughs> So anyway, I will show you guys later the babies as well where I've been keeping because I'm not keeping it with them because there, are, there is a high chances parents also eating the babies. So that's why I have like kind of uh, floating plants and you know small bushes of guppy grasses so that you know the babies can hide. And I also have assassin snails in this tank. Oh yeah. So yeah, uh, they're hunting down all these kind of uh, mini ramhorn snails, you know, any snails that is in this tank is gone, gone. No, no, <laughs> no, just joking, because I, I, have, don't, I don't have any space to put them, so I put it here, that's it. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, there's like, you know, uh, 
LEDs growing in the glasses. So I'm gonna clean those off, change the water. The reason why the water is so brown in this tank is I have a whole lot of banana leaves and uh, guava leaves um, pressed down by these uh, stones over here. And that's why the water is mwah. Some people don't, don't like the color because of the tanning, right? But me, I love them because the fish, they are happy. They love it. <laughs> so yeah, that's the reason why. And as you can see, the water has gone down a bit because of the uh, sponge filter that I'm using. It creates bubbles and the bu uh, water get evaporated very fast. So yeah, I'm gonna do the water changes. And I also have to do like a daily topping about like this much of water in this tank. So it's not a big deal, but yeah. I can change the filter and put it something else, but sponge filter for some reason for breathing any guppies, shrimps, you know, any life bearing fish. I would say sponge filter is kind of the thing to go. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna change it, clean it, and I'll be right back. Right, the water has been changed and it's looking great. And hopefully, they're happy as well. And now, time to move on to next tank. I'm hoping they will give me more babies soon, man. Hey, you guys need to hurry up, man. <laughs> All right, let's move on, let's move on. All right, this is my next breeding tank, uh, Dumbo Ear Guppies. He has two females over here. And one thing about guppies is the more you try to match the male and female color, the better results you get. Uh, fast from the babies and this is basically my moss tank and the most of the uh, moss I have over here is uh, Christmas moss all of these this is my moss wall It's coming along great man I'm loving it so far and then I have a bit of willow moss over here over there <laughs> and yeah and a bit of more Christmas moss I made it into a tray kind of like over here so yeah, uh, at the moment, these things are blocking it, but yeah, they're growing, they're growing. They're coming out from the steel mesh over here that I got. I uh, was looking for plastic or something else, but I couldn't, so went for a steel mesh. And then, uh, yeah, as you know already, the tank needs to be cleaned and water needs to be changed. I'll be right back. Right, the tank is clean, it's looking beautiful. The water is a bit milky because of the water that I'm using, aged water, which already has a bit of tanning, right? So yeah, and the guppies are looking beautiful. Oh yeah. View from the top. And now, let's move on to the next tank, oh yeah. So what we have over here are the baby guppies from the Dumbo Ear and Crown Tail. So I have six babies from the Dumbo Ear guppies and three babies from the Crown Tail guppies. And yeah, this is like a grow out tank at the moment. And so there's like nine baby guppies in here, but eventually soon there will be more, hopefully. And then once they get big, they will be transferred into a male tank or the female guppy tanks, you know? So this tank don't really need much, but I'm gonna do a bit of water change in this tank as well. So yeah, they are tinies over there. They're just roaming around in here. <laughs> cool, cool. Yep, top view, and I'm gonna just change the water and I'll be right back. And it's done. I just did a bit like, you know, this much of this much of water chains and as you can see at the back the hub filter is uh, covered with you know uh, another layer of sponge so that the babies will not get sucked in right they're very small so I just in case I don't think they will get in but still it's better to you know just be in the safe side I guess so yeah that will, tank looks good as well and let's move on to the next tank Oh yes, so this is my male guppy tank. 
So as you can see, there's different kinds of color variations, you know. Uh, most of them are like crown tail bases. So I'm going kind of for this kind, like crown tail, spiky tails. So yeah, that's the project that I'm doing at the moment with my crown tail uh, breeding pairs. And this is where all the males I've been collecting and you know trying to breed the ones that I, I select, basically. So this tank also needs a water change and uh, I need to remove this <laughs> from their pots. I've been lazy and I'm just gonna, you know, dump it somewhere in here. And yeah, I'll be right back. All right, I just fill it up and just in case if when you were watching the time lapse and all of a sudden all the lights were gone, uh, there is a power cut uh, at the moment. There's no power, blackout. So yeah, and I think I will pause it for a while until um, the power comes back because I have one more tank to show. And for this tank, it's all done. I'm sorry for the glare. And later when the power is back, I will show it once again properly. But yeah, so this is my mother tank of the guppies. And this is where I get most of my, you know, all my males and females and separate them. It's all from here. I have like different kinds like crown tail, black masco and everything. And then I will choose a pair from there. And then, you know, go from there, we make a line breathing. So short of, you know, so this is like my workstation for guppies I guess <laughs> all the mix and match are here and I do also have some neon tet uh, yeah neon tetras I wish I could show you guys properly but you know uh, the power is out at the moment and you know what I will still do the water change for this tank and later I will show you guys when the power is back all right after a couple of hours later the power just came back now Yep, the water has been changed in this tank. As you can see, all the guppy grass are down because I dumped it, you know? Yeah. Um, anyway, after a few days, they will come back up again and they will be normal. At the meantime, yes, you can see there's so many guppies in this tank. Oh, yeah. So now, at least, you know, uh, the viewers, they, the new viewers as well, they know, you know, what kind of tanks I have set up and what kind of projects I'm gonna do with the guppies, you know. And, and I think that's it for this video. I think it's a bit long, but I'm gonna trim it and try to make it short. And thank you for the supports lately that I've been getting in this channel. Thank you so much to everyone, you know. Thank you to all you beautiful sassy bakas. <laughs> Other than that, thank you for watching, take care, and bye-bye.